Hey guys, Gabe here with Pest Patrol. We're in Portland, Oregon, and it's beginning to be fall time here and winter is fast approaching. How can you make sure that your crawl space is ready for those uh, colder, more wet times of the year? The first thing, and I've already said this over and over again, but I, it bears repeating, ensure that your crawl space vents are sealed. Sealing your crawl space vents makes sure that wildlife, including rats, mice, raccoons, possums, cats, cannot get in there. It's really important. It can save you thousands of dollars. I have videos on where to look for that and how to seal those up, so go and watch those. But number two is ensuring that you have the proper insulation in and around your crawl space, making sure that the crawl space vents have foam blocks on them so that cold air can't enter in and freeze your pipes and cause excess moisture and stuff underneath. That's important to making sure you have the proper type of insulation under the crawl space itself. So uh, either fiberglass bats up in the ceiling of the crawl space or a rigid foam around the outside. And then number three is making sure that you have a vapor barrier installed on the base level of your uh, crawl space so that water is not able to wick up uh, from the ground. Sometimes they'll install the vapor barrier up along the walls as well if it's a totally sealed system. So I hope that's really helpful for you guys. Just some really practical tips. Make sure that your crawl space is weatherized for the winter. And if you do find rodent droppings or activity or any sort of broken vent screen, make sure that you pop in there and make sure you don't find droppings, urine, paw prints, nesting, or anything else that would uh, make you think that you might have rats or mice or some sort of, sort of wildlife living down there. If you do, get them out, and if you need any help, feel free to give us a call or a text anytime, 503-985-6523, 503-985-6523. Thanks for watching.